All right, we're here with the um, the pigeons. Kind of this temple, Chinese temple. There are some pigeons up above. Well, I guess you call them doves if they're white. But they're supposed to be pretty smart. Um, I didn't used to be a fan of the pigeons as they're called uh, rats with wings in Australia. Damn, there's some loud bikes, man. It's very annoying because it um, scares all the pigeons. But it's a popular pastime to uh, feed the pigeons and the doves here. You know, the Vietnamese are pretty peaceful. So instead of, um, you know, graffitiing or um, rioting, as is usually the case in America, the um, Vietnamese, Vietnamese are big fans of just um, feeding the pigeons. They're very intelligent, apparently. They don't look it. But, um, damn, this one's missing a tail. Disabled pigeon. It's probably collecting a pension. But, um, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that a lot of them are kept in um, cages, you know, because um, uh, the cages are always too small for the pigeons. And, um, I heard actually because uh, I got a subscriber that um, sent me a donation to buy a pigeon and release it but I did some um, research on the matter and I found out that when you set these um, domestic ones free you're actually condemning them to a um, drawn out death because uh, most of them can't survive apparently I don't know that's that's the literature um, if they're kept in a tiny cage you know they don't know how to forage for food and stuff like that I mean apparently that's what I've read there's one here oh they're feeding it noodles man feeding it noodles these guys look pretty healthy very healthy and plump probably get a good meal out of these if you're desperate But I'm sure noodles is not the uh, most nutritious food for the birds. I wouldn't even give noodles to humans. Um, but at least they're getting something, I guess. And they can't be doing too bad because they look in very good health. Look at this guy, very plump. Um, but yeah, always good to get some interaction with the wildlife or not so wildlife. They're very tame here because as I said, the, um, the humans are also quite tame. So, you know, the birds have become accustomed to not getting stoned. Not in the um, pharmaceutical sense, but stoned with rocks, the Middle Eastern sense. So yeah, that's uh, one good thing. One good thing about living in a um, oh, in a uh, civilized society is that the animal life is more likely to approach humans. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, not the um, the most exotic of bird life, but very interesting nonetheless. Um, there's tons of them, man. There's uh, some over there on the temple roof. And um, they're a popular attraction for the kids. This is the Huang Kim Lake, as you guys probably already know. Um, speaking of birds, my favorite bird is this, um, the Chao Mao. I don't know what it's called. It's the Bulba or something. Sounds like a Pokemon name, but... Um, they're pretty cool, man. They're pretty cool. Got a red crest, if I remember correctly, and um, they're imprisoned. 
there's many imprisoned all over Vietnam and unfortunately because of their delightful color scheme many humans have taken them captive so um, I'll find out what its real name is Li Chao Mao maybe I spelt it wrong but it's a uh, red white and um, yeah it's called the um, here it is the red whiskered boo boo or bow boo 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 um, red whiskered boo boo it's got a delightful uh, red thing on its cheek and it is a uh, good singer apparently so I think that's why they um, imprison them seem imprisoned um, a lot in uh, the north of Vietnam. The red whiskered bulbul or crested bulbul is a passerine bird native to Asia. Resident frugivore. I've seen them feeding on um, uh, do What are they called? The pawpaws. Man, we've got the bulbuls eating the pawpaws. What next? Doing some poo poo after their wee wees. Um, but yeah, one of my uh, favorite birds, for sure, the bulbul. Um, it is always a uh, temptation to buy one and imprison it. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, if I feel a bit sad for the birds because they're... Um, because they're a... Um, you know, they, they belong in the wild, man. They belong in the wild with their freedom. And um, it's just sad when the birds are imprisoned. Although I can see the temptation because they're just a exquisite look. You know, it's a very beautiful animal, man. So I can see why people want to trap them and keep them but um and i i did in the past as well i kept the budgie damn it's loud bloody loud um i kept the budgie but um it uh, escaped because i uh i tried to touch it and flew out the uh flew out the exit as you would um, probably one of the only things that I really miss about Australia is the cockatoos and um, related birds, man. The, uh, the galahs. It was a wonderful, wonderful sight going on the freeway, seeing a flock of galahs, wild galahs in the trees, you know. Um, I remember once I saw that sight and it stuck with me. Or, um, yeah, I actually saw some, uh, you know, just free range, I don't know what they're called, but they, they, those galahs, they've got a little bit of pink on them. Not the Major Mitchell, the Major Mitchells are very rare, but there's another kind of galah that I saw around the Noble Park area um, with the Ethiopian immigrants. Um, you also had some local cockatoos and um, not sure which one is more evolved, but I'd have a hazard a guess at the uh, the uh, the bird life. But yeah, um, the cockatoos, man, very very awesome birds. Unfortunately, none here in Vietnam. We've got the uh, passerine birds, just a shitty um, cousin to the cockatoos. The cockatoos are highly developed uh, in the brainal area. And um, yeah, the passerine birds, not so much. But um, yeah, pretty aggressive traffic here, as you can see. Um, anyway, I'll uh, I'll just uh, I'll just duck into here if I can. So um, yeah, I'll just um, park the bike, man.
Oh shit. One handed. Um, yeah, it's a lot of cyclists, man. Some with um, better bikes than others. That's a piece of crap right there. And um, this, this guy is riding a Peugeot. Peugeot uh, is a quite expensive bike. As someone pointed out in my last video, I was so fixated on the bicycle that I uh, missed a Mercedes Maybach. Is it Mercedes? I'm not even sure which uh, car manufacturer makes the Maybach. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're at the lake. Anyway, I'll uh, sign off here. I'll see you guys in the next one or later on. Urine out. I mean, uh, peace out. This guy's taking happy, happy snaps. Um, I, was, I was at the pigeon place or the pigeon temple where I saw this woman riding with a baby, you know, children's bike. Not this one right in front of us, but the one, three, you know, two bikes up. This tiny uh, pink children's bike. Um, she's got a box of noodles in a basket. Maybe she just uh, got it from some charity or something. Maybe we should um, sponsor a bike for her. There's a... Um, it's easy to get run over here, actually. <laughs> As this woman nearly found out. But, um, yeah, she's got some bread and noodles. Noodles is like the worst food. I used to eat them all the time. But um, I've given them up. They're pretty bad. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll try to sponsor a bike for this woman, man. Although, you know, she's a bit over the hill. Yeah, we'll... Um, I think they're friends. Traveling together. Oh, boy, now it's very sad. Nhìn buồn cười quá à, xe nhỏ rồi. À. Nó không có xe lớn à? Đang ra thấp phải đi xe đấy. À, à. Đang đi ra đâu? Đang đi về à? Đi về. Đi về Văn Hồ. À, Văn Hồ. Chưa nếu uh, có người mua xe lớn hơn có chạy không? Có. Có à? Có cái đại lý thống nhất cái gì đây á? Đi không? Em uh, tới chở cho chị đấy. Chị kêu dừng được, ở dưới đây <cười> Đi không? À, thì à, em đi qua thấy chị đang chạy cái xe này thấy cũng hơi à, hơi à, buồn cười à. Em à, cũng à, quen cái đại lý thống nhất cái đây à. em muốn tài trợ cho chị được không? Em muốn à, quảng bá cho thống nhất à. thì em tài trợ cho chị một cái xe này em mới chạy nè Em cũng đang chạy cái xe mới, em mua cho chị luôn á Được <cười> Chịu không? Mua cái gì? Mua cái uh, xe, xe đạp mà cỡ kích uh, to hơn chút à Chứ chạy xe này là sao được? Không à, thích à? Bây giờ nha, bây giờ già 66 tuổi rồi. Bây giờ cái cuộc sống này này Cuộc sống nó đau lắm À, Ô, cuộc sống đau đi như thế này này để chân cứ đỡ xuống này này Thế nếu về... mà cứ như hồi trẻ mà cứ nhảy lên nhảy xuống thì nó không đi được À, à, à. Chỉ đi như thôi Thì vậy là không có cái nhu cầu à? Không cái xe này là của cháu đấy à, bây giờ của cháu nhảy lên nhảy xuống là cái cuộc sống nó đau lắm rồi à, vậy là nếu mua cái cỡ, cỡ này cũng được cái cái mới chứ cái này thấy nó cũng thôi cứ thế này thôi đấy à, không giờ, cần à? bây giờ già rồi mà già rồi đấy, không cái quan trọng là cái cuộc sống ấy, em à chú à, à. vâng <cười> lắm rồi có chắc không đi thế này không không có nhu cầu à? không đi à. thế này nha mình ấy cái mình chống chân à. đấy trước là đi xe cao hơn thì cứ nhảy lên nhảy xuống thì đó à, chứ xe này cũng bền nè à. thấy sợ nó nó bị hư hỏng á thôi bố bố mẹ nó mua cho nó triệu mốt 
chị mốt rồi chị mốt rồi nhưng mà nó cũ rồi già mình lấy chị đi thôi à. đấy thế này được rồi mà được rồi à. vâng chứ ạ rồi ok nếu mà chị không có nhu cầu thì cảm ơn nhá à, chúc chị sức khỏe nhá chào chị nhá oh she said um yeah she doesn't need it um she says that one is uh, good for her because um, she's got something wrong with her spine. She can't hop on and off. So, um, you know, that level, it's easy for her to jump on and off the bike. Um, I thought that was a uh, sure thing. I thought that was a um, slam dunk. But uh, no, maybe these, these girls need a bike. I'll find out. No, they just they just hopped across the road. All right. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a, a slam dunk with that woman with a small bike. I thought she'd for sure take up the offer of a uh, bike, an upgrade. But actually, it's uh, quite hard. I mean, even yesterday, I uh, see the videos that you guys see are the ones that accept the offers. Plenty don't. Like just last night, um, a woman picking through trash, I stalked her and I said, um, you know, I'll give you, uh, you know, I want to do an interview. Uh, are you, would you be uh, okay to do it? And, um, you know, I'll pay you for your time, compensate you. But um, she said no. She said that... Um, uh, you know, she refused the offer, so it's a bit uh, surprising, very surprising, in fact. Because, you know, they're, they're getting chicken feed going through the trash, but they don't want to talk for a couple of minutes on film, on video, um, for like a day's pay or a couple of days' pay, like maybe a week's pay. I don't know how much they make. Like, uh, I was going to pay a 500,000 Vietnamese dong. And um, I was actually going to pay her one million, but I didn't want to, like, it just seems too weird to come up with a million Vietnamese dong offer at the start. So I thought I'd um, ramp it up after. So I'm getting to be peak hour, so there's a lot more traffic on the roads now. So, um, yeah. Gonna meet the uh, guy from the Kidney Village uh, later this evening. Right, guys, we're here in um, Phu Sang. This is an interesting um, area. There's a Phu Nguyek. Speaking of Nguyek, we're here to meet uh, Nguyek and the Kidney crew. But um, that restaurant was pretty interesting because by day it's a mechanics. So there's this putrid smell of, you know, burnt rubber and electronics, welding. And by night, uh, you eat chicken noodle soup in that um, environment. But it's thriving. It's really a popular establishment. Uh, it highlights the effectiveness of Vietnamese use of property. You know, there's nothing that goes to waste because of the land um, shortage the properties by day they often are one business and by night it's transforms into eateries you know so none of the uh, land space goes to waste but yeah we're supposed to meet um, with Mai and Lin uh, up here thanks to uh, Mike Donnelly and um, Alex sent a stem also sent a donation from we so we'll pass that on to them now. Uh, it's, uh, it's getting uh, quite busy with traffic. So we've got to pass some um, Chihop stop uh, shop as well. One stop shop.